My name is Erin Frank. I'm the PR and Marketing Manager at Horizon Health. Joining us today is Martin Adams, the Chief Financial Officer and VP of Finance here at Horizon Health. Um, today we're coming to you to talk to you about our um, pricing transparency, the regulations that have been set federally, and how we're approaching that here at Horizon Health. So, Marty, start me out by explaining the regulation. Uh, January 1st, 2019, CMS, or Medicare, required that all hospitals publish all of their charges. So we call that our charge master in, in, the, in the hospital vernacular. So Horizon Health published 3,000 CPT codes, which are the, just a, a numeric descriptor, and then a, the actual description with a price for all our services, uh, uh, for all hospital-based services. So as of January 1, all hospitals throughout the country have thousands of mm -hmm. charges yes. on their website that patients can look at. They're supposed to. Okay. So what's, why? I mean, what's the government's thought on this? To add transparency to the system. Uh, healthcare is complicated and again, you have CPT codes and, you know, descriptions that don't necessarily make sense or doesn't always resonate to a patient. But the price, uh, the charge, what hospitals charge, need to be comparable, and that's the idea. So between hospital A, B, and C, uh, CPT code 77018 is the same, and those charges published are going to be comparable. Sure. But within the hospital community, we have some concern as far as yeah. our patients when, when they're trying to use these tools that are now available online. So while the initiative's good, right. um, address, address our concerns for me. That concern doesn't address what the patient wants, and that is how much is it going to cost to them. Sure. There are multiple factors that uh, come into the, the calculation of what the out-of-pocket cost is going to be for whatever service, so a radiology exam. Sure. Um, factors such as the individual insurance plan and the, the terms to the patient, such as how much is the deductible on the plan, what is the coinsurance, is it 80%, 20%, or 90%, 10%. Uh, outside of that, there's also uh, contractual differences on the insurance plan to the facility, where insurance company A will have different terms to every hospital, possibly. Then you have to the patient itself, how much of the deductible have they used throughout the year, at what point in time they have. So at the, at, at the end of the day, if I want to get a knee replacement, I could, I could look that up. I could look up a knee replacement online on our website, on every hospital's website across the country, and I could find out how much a knee replacement is going to cost. I could look at all hospitals in Illinois, all hospitals in Indiana. I could spend four hours of my time, and I could pick the cheapest hospital, but when my bill came, in theory, it could have been the most expensive hospital for me as an individual. Is and that, that right? That's true, okay. because some of those things are can't, you can't quantify up front, such as the knee surgery might have a different length of the surgical time that not, is not necessarily known up front. Okay. What you could find out is what the CPT for the professional component of the surgery, that would be something you could find and could compare. But that, again, to your point, doesn't really encapsulate the whole idea of what the overall charge is going to be and then how that charge is going to be discounted by the insurance and to the insurance plan and then back to the individual. Okay, so let's kind of put, let's take those four points that you went through that, that come into, um, that factor into the price to get me to my out of pocket. Okay. So the first one we talked about was differences in insurance. So Marty and Aaron are going in for the knee replacement. We both have Blue Cross, so we should have the same coverage, right? Not necessarily. Within individual, even at the same employer sometimes, that there are different uh, insurance plans within Blue Cross or Health Alliance or United Healthcare or whatever that insurance okay. carrier is. So that's what we're taking into a, to account first of all. Even if we have the same brand plan, even if we work at the same place, there are, are possibly, likely, still differences within our plan. That's possible. Number two would be um, the contracted rate that, that that Blue Cross plan has with our hospital versus the hospital down the road. And so there could be um, different level of discounts negotiated there. Sure. So we have to take that into consideration. And then three is an individual's progress through their plan. 
So say you and I do have the exact same plan. We're on the same employer provided plan. January 1, our plans do look the same, but 60 days into that, I've already worked through my deductible and you haven't touched yours. So there's that factor to take into sure. consideration as well. And then the fourth factor would be um, if, if anything was built into um, my service versus yours because of our individual health needs. So say you're in, you're in different health than I am, you're in better health than me probably. And so it, it, there may be some things there that, we, that are gonna be um, added to my bill just to take full care of me. Again, there's this individual variability that is not really to go back to the original premise that is not reflective in sure. the charge master comparison. Sure. So we've expressed the fact that we have concerns for our patients trying to navigate all this. So tell me about what we've done at Horizon Health, what we're proud of that, that's really going to make things simpler for our patients. So we absolutely have complied with the requirements. Sure. But on top of that, for the individuals to really figure and understand what their uh, out of pocket is going to be, we have a patient portion estimator, whereas with a uh, a doctor's order, a physician's order, we can look at what services they're going to look to have provided and then make sure we're encompassing everything with it. So it's a radiology test that has contrast and has a professional component. Sure. We're taking all of those charges and then applying uh, their insurance plan and then looking at what their deductible has been uh, spent and what their what their actual out-of-pocket is going to be and to be able to have a very transparent and uh, expected price for the services rendered. So I can call, I can talk to somebody, I can give them my insurance, my personal information, my physician order, and they will generate me that individual to Aaron Frank estimate that the hospital will stand behind. Yes. Great. The one disclaimer I would say is that is for most hospital services, just as you said, uh, radiology testing for sure, because we kind of know what goes into that. There are certain things that we don't know up front what's all going to go into the service and those things have some variability again but we are trying to be openly transparent and creating reasonable expectations whenever we can sure and i think what we would just want to remind our patients then um, is that if they're going to use that cost estimate that we provide to them and and go get another price from somewhere else they need to make sure that they're having a conversation with somebody from the other organization to get a comparable price rather than using that online tool where not everything will be taken into consideration. And again, that's, you know, you want to, you, the whole idea of this was to make an apples and apples comparison. Absolutely. As patients become more um, understanding of how their insurance works and the costs associated with it, we want to make sure that they are also comparing apples to apples once they get any, the more information they get, that needs to be shared as well. All right, well, thank you, Marty. I think that sums it up for today. I would encourage you to visit our website where um, this is outlined as well at myhorizonhealth.org. You can also visit a number of government-related websites and, and, and learn what they've had to say on the topic, um, cms.gov, the Illinois Hospital Association, as well as the American Hospital Association.